A big thank you to St Killian's Primary School Choir for that wonderful introduction. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the launch of our Reconciliation Action Plan. My name is Richard Fennell, and I'm the Chief Customer Officer for Consumer Banking here at Bendigo and Adelaide Bank. And I'm also very proud to be the executive sponsor of our Reconciliation Action Plan. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Jajawarong peoples of the Kulin Nation and pay my respects to their elders past and present. And I'd also like to pay my respects to any First Nations people that are joining us here in Bendigo today or online on the live stream. My, pronoun, my pronouns are he and him, and for those of you who may be listening in and who are blind or vision impaired, I have brown hair, I'm wearing a dark blue suit with a white shirt. I'm incredibly proud to be here today and delighted that so many of you are also joining us here to celebrate this really important milestone. The Reconciliation Action Plan that we're launching today is an opportunity for all of us to reflect and learn as we build our understanding of the histories and cultures of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander customers, communities and colleagues. Personally, my journey of learning and reflection began some years ago with a period of immersion with the Yorta Yorta people, a little north of where we stand here today. That journey of understanding continues and I look forward to the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank wrap being a vehicle for my continued, per my continued personal growth and also for many of my colleagues here at the bank. This is only the start of what is a really important journey for us all at Bendigo and Adelaide Bank. I'd now like to introduce Jara Elder, Auntie, Auntie Peter Hudson, who will lead our welcome to country and smoking ceremony. Thank you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> so we've, for thousands of years, we've had smoking ceremonies to for different purposes and today to cleanse, to welcome and to cleanse our more, our spirit. And I've used lemon scented gum and cherry balat. And then I'm just going to read, be a bit more organised. Sorry. So, Woman Jenka to Jajarung Jandak, ancestral homelands of the Jara people, I wish to acknowledge elders past, present, and those present today. I'd also like to acknowledge my Apic ancestors, Emma Kerr and Tom Denali. I'm just going to read you a bit from our country plan called Our Country. <clears throat> Jajarung territory extends from Mount Franklin and the towns of Creswick and Dalesford in the southeast to Castlemaine, Malden, and Bendigo in the east. Port in the north, Donald in the northwest, to Navarre Hill and Mount Avoca, marking the southwest boundary. Our territory encompasses the Bendigo and Clunes goldfields and the Loddon and Avoca river watersheds. Hundreds of years ago, our country was mostly covered in open forests and woodlands, providing us with the plants and animals that we use for food, medicine, shelter, and customary practices. Today, though, our country is vastly changed. It still holds many important values. Our box ironbark forests do not occur anywhere else. Important tucker and medicine species can still be found across our country. Eels, mussels, crays and fish like Murray Cod and Yallabelly are in our river, rivers. Emu, goanna, possum, kangaroo and wallaby have been sustainably used on this country for thousands of years and continue to be important to us. We use local plants like Lamandra, salt, bush, nardu, wattle, red gum and chocolate ululis. Our country is now also valued by other peoples and cultures. European and Asian cultural heritage is strong, particularly through the gold mining history of our region, which continues to influence the recreational pursuits of prospecting and fossicking that are practised today. 
Local industries, including beekeeping, forestry, agriculture and tourism, depend on the natural resources that our country provides. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Peter. It's now my pleasure to introduce Cassandra Lewis, who's the General Manager of JARA. Welcome, Cassandra. Hi, everybody. Thank you um, to the kids. That was truly beautiful um, hearing you singing. It was um, made me cry, actually. Really, thanks for sharing that song. Uh, the opposite of rain happening there. Thanks so much for inviting me um, here today to mark this occasion with you. I would like to congratulate the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank uh, on the development of your Reconciliation Action Plan. The bank joins a growing number of organisations to develop Reconciliation Action Plans with Reconciliation Australia since 2006. And to quote from Reconciliation Australia, RAPs enable organisations to strategically and sustainably take meaningful action to advance reconciliation. There's some great work happening across the state uh, with RAPs providing a pathway for people to take action. RAPs help organisations to become more inclusive and culturally aware, and they ensure Indigenous voices are heard and included in decision making. As a Jar Jar Rung woman and general manager of an Aboriginal corporation, JARA, I think it's a really positive step that the bank's taken today. I understand the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank began as the Bendigo Mutual Permanent Land and Building Society in 1858 on the Bendigo Goldfields. This was a time of unimaginable upheaval, trauma and heartbreak for my people when our lands were forcibly taken and the gold mining turned the country upside down. And so it seems fitting that the RAP is launched here today in Bendigo on Jajawurrun country. It's heartening to see the Bendigo Bank <coughs> recognising the past wrongs and committing to move forward towards reconciliation, towards stronger relationships with Aboriginal people. We look forward to deepening the relationship between the Jajawurrun group and the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank. Already, Jajawurrun people are working with the bank here in Bendigo, and I understand your board and executive will spend the day on country next week with Doomall, um, our creative enterprises. Doomall means thank you between two people, the giver and receiver of culture. And Jaja Wurrung artist Troy Firebrace was commissioned to create a vibrant mural inside the, your refurbished Mitchell Street branch. And Troy, who's in the crowd, uh, also designed the cover of the Reconciliation Action Plan being launched here today. Initiatives like this help put Jajarung people and culture back into the landscape in a modern way. For Jajarung, our goal is self-determination, Jajarung people having an established place in society and being empowered to manage our own affairs. JARA, the Jajarung clan's Aboriginal corporation, exist to represent and protect the interests of Jar Jar Wurrung people. We are a family business, and the vision of our family business is that we are a thriving and sustainable corporation with established interests that are beneficial for not only traditional owners, but the wider community. Everything we do is guided by our Delconija country plan. The country plan has nine goals that are all interrelated. The goals relate to the health and well-being of our people, culture, our land, water, and the way our land is managed, and to the traditional owner economy. 
economic sustainability is a critical element in the journey towards self-determination. We are growing our family business by establishing new enterprises that will provide a strong and diverse economic base. Building strong partnerships with our allies is a really important part of this process. We are delighted to work together with the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank and we look forward to growing the relationship and learning more about how we can support each other on the journey towards reconciliation. I'm really pleased to note that the Bendigo Bank has been working closely with other traditional owner groups across the country and I congratulate you on taking the significant step of formally committing to reconciliation action. The Jar Jar Wurrung Group wish you all the best with the implementation and look forward to a deeper relationship developing. Um, and I just wanted to congratulate everyone that was involved. Um, it's not an easy process um, and everyone, it's really good to see you all here celebrating all the work that's achieved. Thank you. Thanks, Cassandra, and thank you for sharing those insights. And also thank you to you for your support to help us get to this stage. And we look forward to working with you and the broader Jaja Warong people as we continue on this journey. We're now going to play a short video from Troy Firebrace, the creator of our Reflect Reconciliation Action Plan artwork. The artwork is on display upstairs uh, in the foyer area, and we encourage you all to take time to have a look at that later today. I'm Troy Firebrace, a Yorta Yorta Jar Jarong man, and I've been collaborating with Bendigo Bank to develop an artwork for their reconciliation action plan. The community is represented in the foundation of the soil. It provides nutrients for the tree. As the tree roots embed themselves into the soil itself, there is a partnership between the tree and the soil. The tree roots stabilise the foundation as the foundation provides nutrients for growth. As we transition into the middle of the painting, we can see the tree established, prominent in the landscape. Here in itself, the tree is Bendigo Bank. It transforms the landscape. It provides for the landscape. It provides for all of us. The tree in itself has purpose for tools. It has purpose for leaves and shelter. It's a place where community can come together. It is a place where community can rely on. The impact of partnerships the impact of how we engage with the tree. And thus the tree is for us and we are for it. The tree itself becomes the solid foundation for the future. But as we look back, we see the work that has been done in the past that provided for what we have today. It's wonderful to get the understanding behind this wonderful piece of art that now sits upstairs and the relevance for the journey we're on with our Reconciliation Action Plan. It's now my great pleasure to hand over to our Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Marnie Baker. Uh, thank you all for joining us here as we launch our first uh, Reconciliation Action Plan. I would also like to acknowledge the Zha Zha Rung people of the Kulin Nation and pay my respects to Elders past and present. I'd also like to extend a special thank you to our guest speaker, Cassandra Lewis, and to the students of the St Killian's Primary School who did a wonderful job and to the Catherine Macaulay College, uh, who are, you're going to hear performing uh, a bit later. 
It is such an honour to be with you all today. I'm so glad, Troy, that you've been able to get here because I heard that you weren't going to be and you've got some exciting news coming along. Um, but I would really like to thank you, Troy. We've had um, a lovely association with you um, and you've created such wonderful art for us. And you just saw that on the screen, uh, the latest piece of, uh, of art. And I think I do want to thank you just for the, the beautiful way that you have uh, represented our commitment through, through the art. Over 160 years ago, Bendigo and Adelaide Bank was formed on the land of the Zha Zha Wurrung and the Tungurung peoples of the Kulin Nation. The histories of this land stretch back over, over 65,000 years and are rich in cultures and traditions. We know that the time of our fan founding was one of displacement and loss for local Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. Our Reflect Reconciliation Action Plan marks the beginning of our journey to better understand the true histories of our First Nations peoples and to further reconciliation in Australia, something we are wholeheartedly committed to as an organisation. I myself grew up on a dairy farm on the lands of the Barapa, Brapa and the Yorta Yorta nations before making my way to the Zha Zha Wurrung country to study. I have a deep love for the land and much like Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, a passion for supporting our regional communities. Responding to the needs of Australian communities and feeding into their prosperity, not off it, is an important part of who we are at the bank and provides us with strong foundations to support this important work. In our experience, making a meaningful difference starts with taking the time to really to really listen to people and understand their needs and circumstances. Our community bank model, which is built on the principle of empowering communities, is testament to that. While we have a unique experience in partnering with communities, we recognise that we still have a lot to learn from our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities, which is why we won't take this journey alone. We believe that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples should be enabled to have input into policies and decisions that impact them. It's why we support the voice to parliament and why we will invite First Nations people to join us in our reconciliation efforts. Our Reflect RAP commitments include building and strengthening our connections with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities working closely together to understand where we can have the greatest impact and the role we can play in creating an equitable future. In the past, our contributions to reconciliation activities have primarily taken place through our passionate branch teams working with local communities and through our Community Enterprise Foundation in the form of internship programs, scholarships, partnerships and community investment. Our Reflect RAP is the first step in being more coordinated and focused in our efforts and seeks to increase the cultural competency of all of our Bendigo and Adelaide Bank employees with a focus on cultural recognition, strengthened relationships and partnerships, growth and employment. One of our first actions is to establish an ongoing RAP working group who will manage the day-to-day -day delivery of the plan. And this will be an extension of the working group dedicated to creating the first Reflect Reconciliation Action Plan that consisted of employees and senior leaders representing all areas of our business. Recognising that our employees pay, play a really important role we will be establishing a First Nations employee network to guide conversations at every level within the organisation. And we will, of course, seek advice from JARA as a leading organisa local organisation and our other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders within our communities. 
At Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, we take seriously our social licence to operate in the hundreds of communities we're part of across metro, regional and rural Australia. The launch of our Reflect Reconciliation Plan marks our promise to further reconciliation in those communities and is something that I am truly proud of. I am also grateful to all uh, for attending here today uh, and also to those that have attended via live stream to witness our commitment. I just want to thank you all uh, again and I'll pass now back over to Richard. Thanks, Marnie. We're also joined today by students from the Catherine Macaulay College, who, like, who I would like now to welcome to the stage to sing a song in language. That song is called Waka Niniyana. This song's called Walking in Yana. Thank you to the band from Catherine Macaulay College for that beautiful song. And thank you again to all our special guests and colleagues and community partners for joining us today. I do sincerely encourage you all to continue to stand alongside us as we progress along our process of reconciliation with our Reflect Reconciliation Action Plan. 
I'd like to also now welcome you all to join us for some afternoon tea that's going to be served just to my right or your left. Thank you again and good afternoon.